Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to overclock your perm-rooted slash S-off T-Mobile MyTouch 4G or T-Mobile G2. Okay, before we begin, this is for the T-Mobile G2 and the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G after you've permanently rooted them and gained S-off and you've flashed a custom ROM. In addition, your custom ROM must support ADB remounting if it doesn't work, this procedure doesn't work with your custom ROM, try using a different custom ROM and doing it over. Okay, so first you got to download the overclocking kernel file for your device. So if it's T-Mobile G2, click here. My Touch 4G, click here. And save that to your computer. Also download the setcpu.apk file and save that to your computer as well. Okay, so now we're going to plug in our phone. and we're going to select disk drive or mount the SD card so we can transfer files to it. And then we are going to take those two files, the kernel file that's in .zip format, do not unzip it, leave it as zipped, and the APK file. And we're going to drag them over to the root of our SD card, so just pick an empty space and put it there. This will transfer it to the SD card, not inside any folder, it'll just be on the removable storage and those two files. After that we can close that and unplug the phone. Okay, so now on the phone we're going to go to the market and we're going to download ROM Manager. Click on the free one, hit install, click OK, and wait for that to install. Okay, after it's installed, we're going to search for it in our apps. And open it. Okay, we're going to click Reboot into Recovery and wait for it to do that. Okay, then once it gives you the custom recovery, we're going to scroll to Backup and do a backup of our system before we begin. Okay, once it says Backup Complete, we're going to scroll to Install Zip from SD Card, choose Zip from SD Card. Scroll down to the kernel file. Scroll down to yes. And wait for it to finish flashing. Eventually it'll say install from SD card complete. When it does, you're gonna hit power to go back. And then reboot system now. And wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, once the phone reboots, we're gonna open a file manager on our phone. If you don't have one, you can download Linda File Manager for free uh, from the market or any other one will do. And we're going to go to SD card, scroll to our set CPU APK file, click on known sources if it asks, hit back, click it again, click install, and then click open. Click auto detect speeds when you first open it. Click OK. Click Allow. Click OK. And then now uh, you can set this to whatever you want. I'm going to set it all the way up. So 1600 megahertz, 1.6 gigahertz. Sounds good to me. And there you go. You're now overclocked. Good to go.